Hi, my name is Kazer, and in this video series, we're going to be talking about the AP Computer Science A curriculum. And even if you're not in the AP Computer Science class, this video series should give you a basic understanding on some of the basic programming essentials. So, some things about the APCS curriculum. It covers algorithm analysis, data structures, and the methods of object-oriented programming, and modern software engineering. And you might not know what any of that means, but throughout this video series, you'll kind of get a better understanding. And if you kind of want to get a, a, a basis on what, the, what topics are covered and tested on the AP exam, you can visit this link and I'll post that in the description. So, because the AP curriculum is written and taught in Java, it's essential to understand some of the basics of Java and how it differentiates from other programming languages. And one thing I really want to stress before learning a programming language is that it doesn't matter what programming language you use, as long as you understand some of the basics such as methods and classes and objects, you can apply those basics to a wide variety of programming languages. From there, it's just understanding those syntactical operations. So, the first thing about Java is that it's object-oriented, which means that everything in Java is an object, which stores a specific data field or a value. And those objects can be used together to write to run your program. Second, Java is class-based, which means it's, it's, it's a style of object-oriented where inheritance is achieved by defining those classes as objects. And we'll talk about the structural hierarchy of classes and, uh, and uh, packages and methods, but we'll, we'll go over that in a later video. Another awesome thing about Java is that it's cross-platform, which means that your code can be run, compiled, and debugged on uh, a wide variety of operating systems such as Mac and Linux and Windows. And this is cool because projects uh, and code can be shared anywhere, basically. Another really important thing to understand with Java is that it's a high-level programming language, which means that it has strong abstractions from, from the details of the computer and machine-level language code. So typically in high-level language programming languages, you'll see that it uses many natural language elements and it's easier to use. And you see those natural language elements in things such as if statements and um, while loops and do while loops and if then else and all those con control structures. Um, another thing is that a lot of, th a lot of things are, are automated and in Java you don't have to do any memory allocation or, and all the garbage collection is done, but we won't get too in depth with that. Um, and just a point of history, Java was developed under James Gosling of Sun Microsystems and released in 1995, um, but obviously Java has pro progressed over that time, and I think, um, yeah, it's, it's developed. Uh, and it was, and Sun Microsystems was obviously later acquired by Oracle. <clears throat> and the principle of Java was that it was developed to be simple, secure, and high-performing. So. The structure of this video series will mostly consist of PowerPoints, which will cover some of the basics that are, or some of the topics that are beginning, that are going to be covered uh, in, in the video, and then you'll actually see real-time coding uh, in an IDE. And I use the integrated development environment of Eclipse, but you're free to use whatever you want, whatever you use in your classes, whatever uh, IDE you pr uh, prefer. If you don't know what an IDE is, that's an integrated development environment where you can run and debug and compile your code. Um, and the video series will also contain some practice problems and uh, some some code snippets that are going to be that are going to be super important for doing well in the AP. And I'll obviously post um, uh, I'll obviously post those solution videos after after the pro after the problem is asked. So. What we're going to do in this video is is we're, we're going to take a look at the Eclipse integrated development environment and we're going to write just a simple Hello World program. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your, your IDE. And for me, I'm using Eclipse. It really doesn't matter what you use. I talked about that. And I'm, I'm obviously not going to cover how you download it and all that, but it should create a default workspace somewhere on your hard drive. And once you once you found out, just go ahead and open open the program. And what you're going to do is, is you see this, is you see, you see this UI. You're just going to go to File, New, Java Project. And we're just going to call our project name Tutorial, but you can call it anything you want. And we're going to click that drop down menu, and we're going to right click on this source file, and we're going to go to New Class. And like we said, Java is a class based programming language, so those classes work together in your Java project. 
And what we're going to do is go ahead and highlight uh, or check this public static void main uh, method stub. And what that is is basically your main method. I think the AP subset calls it uh, the client code, and that's just basically where uh, you can you can test uh, test your different classes and methods. Um, and uh, we can name this what, again whatever you want, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to call this learning. Um, and yeah, and you'll see that it'll create it'll it'll create this. Uh, I'm not sure why I created a learn.java, but it should create this learning.java file. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I have no idea what that is. But from, from your learning.java file, you'll, you'll see that it says public class learning. It'll have your opening and closing brackets. And then we, we, we did this little to-do auto-generate method stub. And we can go ahead and delete that. And all we're going to do today in this video is write a simple Hello World program. And so to do that, we're, we're going to go into our main method. And we're just going to type system. And it's calling the system dot out. So dot output um, dot print line. And because print line is a method, it has the opening and closing brackets, braces, or parentheses, but we're going to go over stuff like that and encapsulation in a later video. And we're just going to output a string. So we're going to have our two quotes, and we're just going to type in, hello, world. And that's good. If, if, if you have a problem, uh, uh, it, it, there, there should be, so for example, if, if I put a comma here instead of a period, It'll it'll give me an error and it'll it'll say yeah syntax token expected all that stuff, and from here we can just go ahead and click run and press run, and it's gonna ask you which which ones you want to save and right here in our console it's gonna print hello world, and your console is where you can um, is where where you, where you can actually see your program running, so. What we did in this video is we covered some stuff about the AP Computer Science curriculum, and we also talked about Java. And we also got a hands-on look at the Eclipse Integrated Development Environment and wrote our own Hello World program. For the next video, we're going to be talking about some basic control structures and basic identifiers and primitive and built-in types that are essential to learning Java. Thank you.